What's happening, financial coaches? It's Pete here. Hopefully you're doing great. I'm founder of Expedition Money. I want to talk to you today about social media. So I have found a tool that might be a lot cheaper in terms of social media management posts. How do you post to a bunch of your different social media channels at the same time, manage the comments, change them, see what got engagement. And so one of the things that I have been trying out and that I like, but has some drawbacks is a company called Hero Post. And so one of the things that I think you may have oh, some trouble with is finding an affordable solution to posting regularly. You may create a bunch of posts. If you do it batching, we could get into the whole strategy here, but let's say you have Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, X, uh, some of the other ones, Tumblr, whatever. You can post to a lot of different places. I would suggest you post to a lot of different places because the content that you make should be discoverable by people. You want to be discoverable. You're trying to build your business. You're trying to get your reach out there. You're trying to get your voice out there. And a couple of the products that I've used in the past, like Buffer or Hootsuite, and I still have a Hootsuite subscription, is that the problems with those is that they're very expensive. They're pretty robust too. There's Sprinkler and Sprout and Hearsay Social. There's a number of companies out there. Hootsuite itself is like a couple hundred bucks a month for a fairly basic one person license, I think. It's a very good program. But one of the ones that I found that at least at the time I'm recording this, if you go directly to their webpage, that's say $19 a month. And if you subscribe to those, I like those too, because 20 bucks a month, 19 bucks a month, you can cancel it whenever you want to. For the most part, sometimes you can find some discounts online. There's some codes or subscribe to their newsletter or something. And sometimes you can find those. So one of the things that I have noticed about Hero Post is that it's set up similarly. So you have to go in and you have to link then your social media accounts. Now, a couple things that I will say here is that Hero Post actually allows me to connect more platforms than Hootsuite. So Hootsuite allows me to do the standard ones, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. Those are no problem. In fact, I think you can link it to YouTube too and some of the other maybe less common but still popular ones. Hero Post allows me to do those, but it also allows me to do Tumblr, which Hootsuite does not. And it also allows me to do Daily Motion, which Hootsuite does not. Both of those are kind of blog. Daily Motion is more of a video website. So if you're creating video content, you actually might like Hero Post more because now I can automatically post that video. I can upload it into the scheduler. I can put it on a particular day, schedule it out. The drawback of Hero Post is that comment management isn't as robust. So in Hootsuite, I can get a bunch of different panels where it shows me the comments as they're rolling in. If I have different channels, if I have different actual different products completely. So I have a couple different YouTube channels then I can see all those in one place or at least scroll to see them. Hero Post is not as robust on that. It's not really meant for um, and, and seeing those comments and then replying. It's really meant for putting up content and then posting it out regularly. And it's pretty good at that. I've had pretty good experience with that. About six months ago or so when I started using it, sometimes it would error out or the connections would be lost. I have not had that problem in recent months. So I don't know if they had an update or it's just maybe an infant product or whatever, but so far it has been very nice and reliable. All right, one of the big drawbacks of Hero Post that I have had is that on Instagram, you can usually post a video that is usually square or vertical, and that just helps the Instagram feed. Horizontal post gets really small because Instagram is meant to be seen on the small screen most of the time. So in Hootsuite, the more expensive version, what I've noticed it does is that it crops whatever video, because usually I'm uploading videos like this, 16 by nine widescreen videos, and it will crop out the middle and just put up that square to Instagram so that Instagram accepts it. The problem with Hero Post is that it doesn't crop it for Instagram. It just publishes the video as I have it. So you have a couple options. You can either unselect it to post to Instagram or don't post to Instagram like I do. And then I just go to Instagram and I usually upload the video and I just copy the description to the video there because if you upload directly to Instagram, it will only allow you to show things in a square. So you can slide the video around to fit. So I just do that, I, I do an extra step. Or you can crop the video so that it's in an Instagram friendly format, but then it's gonna go to your other platforms as a square or as a portrait video, which I don't want. 
The other thing you could do is create two and schedule it for all those and schedule it for Instagram in Hero Post. And I think that's probably what most people are going to want to do. So if you have a widescreen video like this, you want to crop it, run it through something like Handbrake so that it puts in a square and schedule that post, say for Friday at noon for all your platforms except Instagram, and then upload the square one. Again, copy and paste the description, schedule it for the same time, but the video format is going to be different. So uh, just trying to give you some practical advice about Hero Post, but it is so much cheaper. It is so much cheaper than some of the other ones. And I think for most of us, just home-based businesses, for some of us as financial coaches, a lot of people doing it part-time, you don't have time or the interest in making social media a huge piece of your business. You are just trying to leverage the most important pieces to get that visibility, to be discoverable so that people can consume you, make a connection, see if you are the person that has the right information for them so that they can reach out. And so getting it up and posted and scheduled and so that it goes out regularly and creates that friendliness with the algorithm, that's the most important thing. Hero Post will allow you to do that at a fraction of the cost of pretty much all these other services. If you have, I would say more than two or three channels, social media places that you want to post to, Hero Post is definitely worth a check out. There are some of the services, I think like Buffer is free if you have less than three channels. If you only have, say, Instagram, Facebook, and maybe LinkedIn, but if you post to Twitter or something, as soon as you get over that three free connections, Buffer can be pretty expensive. So what I would suggest here is that maybe give Hero Post a look. I'll put a link to Hero Post in the description below if you're interested. Hopefully that helps you, your social media, and your business. I'll see you later.